Did you know that Photoshop has a built-in smooth skin filter that you can use to edit portraits? Yes, it has. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use this filter to retouch your images. If you don't have the budget to buy retouching panels, plugins, or third-party software, you can use this built-in filter in Photoshop. It is called Neural Filters, specifically the Skin Smoothing Filter. So let's go ahead and open up an image and let me show you how it works. Alright, so first things first, duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then select the Spot Healing Brush tool and remove the obvious and distracting blemishes and dark spots. You can also use this to clean up a single strand of hair and remove smile lines. Okay, that should do it. Now we are ready to smoothen out her face. We go to Filter, select Neural Filters, and then toggle the switch right beside Skin Smoothing. Using Photoshop's artificial intelligence called Adobe Sensei, it tries to scan the image and identify the face and the skin. Then it automatically applies the Skin Smoothing filter on the image. Here on the right side, we can adjust the blur and smoothness values to our preference if needed. But right off the bat, I'm already liking the effect, so let's just leave it as it is. Then down here we have the preview changes button to see the before and after. So this is the before, and this is after. Not bad, right? Then right over here we can select the output that we want. Let's choose duplicate layer masked. Then click OK to go back. So as you can see here, it created a duplicate layer with a mask. The mask just gives us the flexibility to add or remove the skin smoothing effect to certain parts of the face by using a black or white brush. From here, we can continue editing the image by enhancing the eyes, applying dodge and burn, saturating the lips, etc. But that topic is for another video. Now let's try it on another image. Again, duplicate the layer and remove the distracting blemishes using the Spot Healing Brush tool. I'll go ahead and fast forward this step. Alright, this looks good. It's now time to apply the Skin Smoothing Filter. We go to Filter, select Neural Filter, and then turn on the Skin Smoothing switch. This is the before, this is after. Let's zoom in. So what do you think? Did the filter do a good job with the Skin Smoothing? Comment down below. Let's set the blur to zero and see what happens. All right. So I don't know if you noticed it, but the skin tones change a little bit. If you're familiar with frequency separation, what the blur function does is, it tries to blend all the skin colors seamlessly. Then the smoothness slider is responsible for the amount of skin texture that will be applied on the image. So you can play around with these sliders until you get the desired look. Alright, so let's select an output and click OK to exit out of here. We can also play around with the opacity right here to increase or decrease the intensity of the effect. And for our third and last example, let's use this image. Once again, we duplicate the layer and remove the distracting blemishes. I will go ahead and speed this up. Then we go to Filter, Neural Filters, and turn on Skin Smoothing. Before, After. Let's zoom in. Before, After. Nice! Let's crank up the blur and smoothness sliders all the way to 100 and see what happens. 
so obviously, the effect is too much and it looks unrealistic. So let's just put it back to default where it looks more natural. Then select the duplicate layer mask output and click OK. So that is the skin smoothing filter in Photoshop. It is similar to frequency separation without the tedious and time consuming masking and brushing. The skin smoothing is done automatically. Although this neural filter works well, it has a few downsides. First, it requires an active internet connection in order for it to work. Second, it is still on its beta stage, so you may encounter some bugs and glitches from time to time. Lastly, it only applies the skin smoothing on the face, and it does so automatically. There is no option for manual selection. Also, it only applies the effect on the face, and not on the neck and the rest of the body. Maybe in a future update, or when it passes its beta stage, it would be smart enough to apply the skin smoothing on the entire body, or there would be an option to manually select the areas that you want to apply the effect. So, like I said, there are a lot of ways to edit and retouch your images. Whether it's a plugin in Photoshop or a totally separate software, it is entirely your decision on which tools works best for you. Photo editing is very subjective. Just keep practicing until you find out your own workflow. As for me, I just love learning and discovering different tools and techniques to edit images. So I will keep making videos and share them with you. So, did you know about this filter in Photoshop? Or you just learned it here from me? Go ahead and write me a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe to see more photo editing tips like this, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Thank you for watching.